Hello there, and welcome back to Starcom Nexus. We're continuing to explore. We've got our little to-do list. We need to find a bunch of stuff. Uh, we've got two planets here. So we've gone, we went that way last time. A lot happened last time, actually. We blew up the super base, or whatever it was, the Sentinel super base here, and we have unlocked all these coordinates. We have a little bit of a to-do list, so we can get a, I think, a sort of data shard, like a crystal data shard. We want to try and do nothing here, but we did get uh, an unstable mantle. Mm. Doesn't sound very habitable, does it? Uh, that's very bright. Where's health do we? Oh, here we go. Hostile sentinels. Ugh. But yeah, we've got quite a to do list now. We need to collect a few items for a museum, essentially. <laughs> Made light work of these guys. Yeah, oh no. Hang on, wait for it. There we go. Nope, oh, there is a, an anomaly here. Can't get to it right now because you. There we go. That's better. Thank you very much. Three adamantine, ten titanium. There's no sign of life on this planet, save a single apparently vacant city. The lack of any archaeological history suggests this city's builders were not native to this planet. Long-range scanners show moderate radiation levels, but below dangerous levels. There also appears to be a network of hardened tunnels beneath the city, but some show signs of possible collapse. Explore everything. Oh yes, 30 platinum. The team forces their way into the sealed chamber. Gruesome discovery, a skeletal remains of several thousand bipeds. Damn. Sounds horrible. Sounds horrible. Anyway, is this our way through? Yep, yeah, looks like it's our way up. Ugh. Circling the drain. There we go. <laughs> I'm very good at missing those, I tell you. Yeah, almost an expert. Alright, uh, what have we got? We've got planet over here, planet down there. Well, we're near this one, so we'll explore this. Nothing here. Nothing there. Uh huh. Alright. And we've got another two up here. And then possibly, is that there going to be a wormhole going up that way? I imagine there would be, but it's not showing me one right now. Maybe there won't be. Maybe there won't be. Oh, yep, yeah, there's something on this A2 planet. Let's take a look. Hmm. The anomaly is a cluster of Bronze Age ruins that unusually show damage from plasma weapons. The team is unable to find the cause or, or any resources are valuable or value will while investigating the site they are approached by a group of 14 ungulate bipeds ungulate bipeds whatever that is via the universal translator the team xeno culture expert opens a line of contact I ask them about the damage to the ruins they seem confused they claim the survey team destroyed the structures Expert politely asks what the hell they're talking about. No, don't, 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 no, no, no. Ah, uh, a group of star, a group of star begins, came and began collecting these, I don't, I can't read this. <laughs> they resisted, blah, blah, blah. Volunteers, oh my gosh. I should probably read this, shouldn't I? Uh, must be given a number of their uh, species, number of volunteers. All right, what do these star beams look like? Their description is a bit vague. Either they are faceless versions of the survey team, or the biangulates think all star beams look alike. What a star beam wants of these volunteers? They don't seem to know. It has been several generations since the war of subjugation. According to legends, they are taken to the Grey Sun to become immortal, immortal servants of the beings and assist in their pursuit of knowledge. The fact that no volunteers ever returned has led to skepticism. The star beings have reputation for playing cruel tricks on the biungulates. Tell them civilized races do not condone slave trade. If you find star beings, you'll put if you find the star beings, you'll put a stop to it. Their response is a confused mix of appreciation and fear. <laughs> okay. Interesting. That's that's very weird. Very weird. Uh, uh. Alright. Now, I wonder, after we've done this, oh, okay, maybe not, maybe this is it, it looked quite grey, 
Another swarm probe, and we get 200. Damn, the durable little probe's memory bank contains a wealth of information from its travels. If this is really part of a large swarm of explorer probes, its makers must be sitting on a wealth of knowledge by now. Hmm, yeah, it's true. I wonder if we could find them. Is it worth going across? We might find something along the way. But, uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. For reasons I will explain in a moment. Oh, that was close. Sorry. It would be diplomatic of <laughs> you to offer us useful te technology. Yeah, sure, I have expanded bags. We already have excellent uh, understanding. Sorry, sorry about the bump there. <laughs> anyway. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, back tracing, I think, for just a little bit of this this video. Um, I'm, I have a feeling that Crimson Giant Star may have something to do with uh, what the Uliquo told us about... Uh, what was it? If we actually sort of view that back. Sunken ship. Uh, uh, where were you? Comlog Uliquo. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Mission log, fragments, unknown disease. Still trying to work out this unknown disease. We need to figure out if this unknown disease. Solid site station key filters. We need to track down the key filters. That's what. That's the big thing we're looking for. Museum artifact and the sunken ship. If we can locate the planet in question, we should be able to find whatever it's is hidden at that location. Wait, precise surface coordinates? Did it show me the coordinates? Ooh. Anything that's a map note? Oh, it's my own map note. Apparently I, I don't seem to know how to do map notes properly. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm messing stuff up here. Uh, let's, uh, oh, oh. Move past these guys. Hmm. I think that Crimson Star has something to do with this. Pretty convinced. Pretty convinced that what they were telling us is something down this way. Anything here unexplored? We know what you are. We know what you are. Been out there. There. That's the Crimson Giant. Alright. Let's make a quick little journey down here. We've not been down here since we've actually sort of cleared this space out, or we got rid of the uh, the sort of jammer array that was up there. So this might reveal another little planet or something along, along the side, so we can go ahead and do that. Once we go down here, okay. Let's be very careful around this. I do believe if we get too close, oh yeah. There's a planet. There is a planet there. Yes! Ha! Huh. Alright, the shields can handle it. Just about. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's obviously gonna be something here. Okay, go. And we can warp out. I must remember I've got this warp technology. Ah, oh, I was really hoping you can be <laughs> sort of that staff or whatever it was. All right, adamantine. That's cool. Very nice. All right. Okay, we good. All right, we've got the crew back aboard. But it would appear we've got nothing else from that. That's a shame. <laughs> That's a real shame. Mm. But yeah, we didn't notice that planet before. We we really didn't notice it, and we wouldn't be able to got we wouldn't be able to um have gone there without shields. So good thing we've got shields. All right, let's nip down here. See if there's anything new. I do not see a thing. Anything out there? Would appear not. Alright, fine. 
Alright. Be that way. A sentinel defender up ahead. Right by the wormhole. Be gone. Oops. Missed ya. I missed. Whatever, not interested. Alright, we're just gonna... You know what, we're just gonna forget about this. And instead... Uh, watch out for the trader. Watch out for everyone, really. Oh, hello. You're a big ship, aren't you? Can't offer you anything because I'm fed up with not getting anything in return. You see, have you noticed that they're, they're damaged? Why are they damaged? What are they damaged from? What do you explore down there? Hmm. Staging area. Uh, survey complete. Well, I guess my suspicions were inaccurate. At least we found that uh, adamantine. I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go pick up those singing crystals, which are not there. Which are there. No, they're not. Dwarf. Wait. Dwarf giant station. Cool. Alright. It's coming from this way. Okay. So, uh, the dwarf. Ah, yes, that's got like research, doesn't it? Cool, 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 cool. That can give us more research points. Love it. Always like some more research points. Who doesn't? Okay, let's see if you've found, you've discovered anything else. Ah, oh, since that our last visit to the planet, either some unscrupulous visitor, probably the Kytic. Yeah, that's just presumptuous. Due to the station or its anti-grav lifts failed and it has sunk into the planet center. So one of those two things happened. Uh, you know what? Let's just blame the Kytic anyway. Dirty Kytic! You will pay for this! You will pay! Still need to work out the whole stasis sphere. Malarkey. That's for sure. Need to solve that quest line. I wonder what it actually is. And, oh, oh, there we go. It's obviously going to have some significance given the fact that, <laughs> that there's a few of them because obviously it's encouraging us to find them and remember them. And we've got an unexplored... Have we seriously got a planet up here that we've not explored? What? Oh, no anomaly. Okay. <laughs> what? I mean, that is a bit of a shocker. Come on. Alright, let's go grab some singing crystals. That's this uh, very bright sun. And let's take a look. Here we go, here it is. Singing crystal planet. Let's go pick some up. I wonder if they scream when we cut them. They go, ah! Have the team collect an intact cluster. The team carefully loads the entire cluster into the cargo bay. Brilliant. That's one of the artifacts. The museum requested two more to go. That's right, Williams, that's right. Okay. Next plan. Hmm. Next, 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 next. What are we going to do next? Going to not do that because that was rubbish. So where is this other artifact then? In the storm cloud? I'm guessing. That artifact that we asked the Uniqua about. Oh, hello. Forgot about you, Pulsar. Ha ha. Oh, disorientating actually. A little bit. Mm, pretty awesome though. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's go over. Let's go over here. For the next next escape. Alright, what do we got? We've got a, an object very close. Planets all around. We've got all sorts of stuff around actually. Uh, let's take a look at what this is. Oh hello, there's another jump gate. Hmm. Ouch. Sorry. Can I sell planetoid? There is, of course, an anomaly here. That no doubt will propel us across the galaxy. This clearly was a fact this clearly once was a factory and storage facility for a large variety of goods. There are thousands of cargo containers full of assorted items. The team engineer guesses that some civilization used this facility to produce goods which could easily be launched into orbit into the low G to be collected by freighters. 
Automated production seems to have stopped in this processing a large order. Analysis of the factory's computer core memory shows a stack overflow while trying to produce that many units of some trinkets for delivery. Besides the factory's absurd production goals, another point of interest is the large antenna pointed at the massive structure orbiting above. Some kind of space dock? The team is able to energize the antenna using a power supply from the lander. The antenna has... Yeah, here we go. Lights are currently off, off, off and on. Second button. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Second button. I know. First. Second. Second. First. Second. Ah. Gotta get all of these on. Nah. <laughs> Could be here a while. Uh, first. Okay, that's good. So it goes first, second, first. First, damn it, second, first. What if we just do this over and over again? Nope. First, second, first, second, second, first, second, first, first, second. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. First, second, first. Second. Second. Nope, that's it. First. First. Second. Oh my gosh. Stop teasing me. That's first. Uh, second. Second. First. Second. I, I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I just don't know. <laughs> second. First. Second. Second. First. First. Okay. Second, second, first, first. What did I do last time? First. Yes! We got it! I think I did second last time, so yeah, first this time. Okay. And it's on! Hooray, I worked out a little puzzle. That's pretty good for me, all right? That's <laughs> that's very advanced for me. <laughs> so that must jump us all the way up there or something, I, I take it. That's what I'm guessing. Unknown eviscerator. I have a feeling you're not very friendly if you're called an eviscerator. Wow, whoa. I am here, effect of the Cortano. Speaking through this vessel, who are you? Do you seek Eos? Uh, yes, I am Chimpy of Starcom. We are looking f Yes, we are looking for Eos. I've heard of that. I just mentioned it. By the flaming swords of silver messengers, I name you Heretic! Whoa, translator glitch. I mean, we only seek to avoid Eos. That is good. Oh, wow. So I wonder if they would have been hostile as a result. <laughs> To seek Eos or his words in is a violation of the commandments of Silver Messengers. Who are the Silver Messengers? Do you mean the Sentinels? What are the Commandants? Who or what is Eos? <laughs> to seek Eos or his words. So obviously asking about Eos is not a good idea. You would have to have a scepter we could buy. Ooh. Well, let's ask him about the Silver Messengers first. They are known by many names. It would take a hundred billion sunrises to write out their true name. They guard the eyes that watch the path that none must follow. They are the keepers of the commandments. Alright, do you happen to have a scepter we could buy? Insolent infidels! <laughs> the Hierophant scepter was stolen by artifact thieves. What? And it would not be for sale at any price. You don't say. Artifact thieves. They are the laws that govern the universe from oblivion. What and where is the pit of Eos? This just sounds like no one may listen to Eos whispers or seek his pit. Uh, well, we don't need to know where it is. We'll be on our way because obviously we will be hostile. Yeah, see, we're not friendly. If it says neutral, I think that just means we'll eventually be um, hostile with them. Kind of like the phage at first. But yeah, those guys are cruising for a bruising. 
So this stuff about Eos is, uh, are those two of the temples that we've been discovering along the way? They might be. They just might be. All right, well, whatever. Let's uh, continue on our way. Got a couple of planets over here. Got a star over there we probably want to explore first. Come back, we'll then go and explore that orange main sequence as well. Oh, all right. Oh, oh. Nothing there. All right. Out midway. I bet they're the ones doing the abducting. The Eos demand servants. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Off to this blue giant. To the blue giant, then to there, then through the jump gate, which will probably take us up to that star there or somewhere. Hopefully it's not like the previous jump gate. Oh, hello. Space seeds. More of them. 95 research points. More of the space-born seeds. Careful scans show that they have deployed nanometer-thick shoots that allow them to tack into the solar wind. Alright. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got? We've got a planet up there. Planet down here. Guess we'll go to this one first and then up to that one. Just the two? It seems like it's just the two. So... Make it worth my trip. What are you? Desert planet? Class D planet. Yep. Alright. Have fun out there, away team. On approach, the team fails to... Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, go on, let's just, just fall for it. Dig it out. Ah, uh, you're such a troll, creator of this game. You're such a troll. Trolly, trolly, trolly. Oh, there we go. That wasn't as long as I thought. Uh, so I was speaking to one of my mates who... Oh, hello. Derelict fighter. Scratch that. Scratch that thought for just a moment. Um, oh. An old freighter. This looks like an autonomous... Hmm. Non-modular open hole design with pod fusion sublight drives. Interesting, but archaic. Looks like it's maglock... Maglock's lost power when the cargo went everywhere. Oh, so this is all the cargo, is it? Oh, hello. Deceased hexapod. Ah, hexapod life form inside. Anything else? Any more? Uh... Might as well. Research points are research points. This is pretty. It's worth. It's worth looking at if it gives us research points, you know. Always. Alright, well, I think that's all the research points we'll probably get from it. Alright, well, thank you very much. Uh, so one of my mates was playing this, and I don't know if you remember the... Um, <laughs> where we come across a sort of seal people, and they we want to enter a cave, and they're like, No, you may enter the cave if you either catch some fish for us or pay us some gold. And I chose to pay us some gold. My mate, it turned out decided to go down the fishing route and it took it took ages apparently you had to click like eight times or something like that and what's that did i just push a rock along the entire time galactic explorer little achievements popped up i told you not to pop up with achievements but okay whatever uh let's go let's go up this way like this i need to go like that why would i do that Oh, okay, we actually do have a wormhole here. Interesting. I mean, of course, we've got to go through it. Still want to see what's on that jump gate, though. Let's, uh, we'll save the best till last. Class A2 planet. Anything nice? Something under the waves. No, too risky. Don't care about those. I'm not losing more crew. I know we've still got 35, so we've lost 15. But I haven't actually topped up the crew in a while. So, yeah. Habitat module, definitely worth investing in. Okay, we've got a planet down here and one out there. Let's see if anything on this class L planetoid. Nothing. We've got one over here. And then we shall go through this wormhole see what we get. Yeah. That is going to send us... I'm pretty sure it's facing that. Yeah, it's got to be. 
Yuliko Trader and a really messed up ship. Oh, you're really messed up. What what have what have you done? Did you just mess him up? Let's talk to you. Uh we'll be on our way. I'm not falling for that. Then again, I think we could take you on. <laughs> Did you just get destroyed by this? Transport ship, press X to investigate. Alright. From the outside, this appears to be a large transport ship. Its drive its drive engines are cold and there are no energy readings. Send a survey team to investigate. Inside the ship is pressure. The inside of the ship is pressurized, either by design or its atmosphere has leaked away. Oh, unpressurized, sorry. There are, are a variety of antiquated but recognizable ship systems, life support, helm control, comms, etc. But the majority of the hull is filled with enormous propulsion system and hundreds of glass tubes filled with corpses. The team doesn't recognize the species. They look like a cross between ostrich and lobster. Interesting. Analysis of the ship system shows that a programming error caused the automated navigation system to crash due to numeric overflow. A very primitive AI tried to recover, but only succeeded in completely destroying the reactor. Most of the equipment has little salvage value, but now useless life support systems has a fair amount of platinum. Uh, I don't know. I want that platinum. Sorry. Oh, dead in space, whatever. Do we ask about EOS? I mean, you're all, look at you, you we, can, we can so take you on. Oh. Who or what is EOS? Watch your curiosity, EOS whispers. Hmm. He lost the heretics to his black pit. Only a heretic that sourced the forbidden knowledge would ask that question, but you ignored the warnings. We enemies now. Okay, no, okay, we're not enemies, cool. We're still neutral, but I have a feeling we're not going to remain that way, are we? Not after I go looking for your pit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, through the wormhole. Where is it going to take us? Nobody knows. Well, unless you've played it before me, then you do know. Uh, yes, I made it. No, oh, this has taken me all the way up here. Fascinating. Where the hell does that jump gate go then? Oh. Most confusing. Hmm. Alright, anyway. Let's uh, scan this giant class O, which, as is tradition, has nothing. We tell you what, having these good lasers, uh, I've said it a couple of times, but it is, it is useful. I wouldn't mind upping the power of them though. Potentially just to keep, let it really help knock out those shields. Crystal warfare. Okay, cool. Uh, we would reciprocate. Okay, improved engines? Sure. I, I don't see the point in doing this anymore. And wow! There's a lot of you. I sure hope you don't want to be enemies at any point. Oh. Okay. Right, let's scan this planet. Yep, there's something down here. And there's another jump gate up there. Ah. Alright, I'm guessing that's where the jump gate would have taken us. Um, we got a lot of titanium. I think we're all set for titanium for life. Is this another... No, that's not another jump gate, is it? Or is this uh, another ship? Another transport ship? Another transport ship sent a survey team to investigate with lobstriches, as the team refers to them. <laughs> However, this time, the reactor system is still operational. Just barely. The team engineer guesses that it will fail soon. She believes that the system can, could repair with 30 units of uh, chironite. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, gosh. Oh... I was meant to give them the Kyra light. Oh, I feel like an asshole. <laughs> what a misclick. Oh. Awkward. That is awkward. Hmm. Uncomfortable. Kind of want to save and reload. <laughs> I, I kind of do want to save and reload. Oi, they're not coming with me. Yikes. 
That could have resulted in, like, us going to a new world, you know? Like, it really could have. Uh, oh well. My greed got the better of me. Alright, it's time to go through that jump gate. We're gonna commit to it. Maybe it'll take us even further. Maybe it'll take us nowhere, as they traditionally do. At least the ones up there have before, anyway. Okay, let's, uh... Get down here. What have we got? There it is. Yeah. 800 away. We've still got enough crew. Uh, the Vandaria are kind of in the way, awkwardly. Oh, no, they're not. No, it's the Uliquo. Alright, out my way. Make a run for it. Full speed. Nope, you're not it. Uh, abort. It wasn't down here, was it? It's down there. <laughs> Oops. Do I top up some crew? I think we're okay for now. Hang on, there's something along here. Is that just another one of those cores? Let's not bump into it. There we go. These cores are like everywhere. You, have to be, you do actually have to be careful because you just smash into them and you don't look where you're going. Okay. Kind of makes sense to keep shields on all the time then, doesn't it? Oi, quiet outside. Easy ass motorbike. Alright. So the jump gate's on. It's going that way. So let's ramp up some speed. Okay, let's see, let's see what it does for us. Where on earth are we gonna go? The Osis Pit. Oh, I missed it. I'm, I'm not even lined up. <laughs> Stupid. I probably don't even need a run up. You know, it's probably just very unnecessary. Okay, yeah, there we go. And Waboosh. Twelve hundred. Ooh. Where's it going to take us? 1200 Astro units per second. Alright, it's going to take us through this space. And that's it. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, everyone okay? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Well, <laughs> all right, never mind. Uh, let's go and explore that white dwarf star. <laughs> so it appears we've got two planets plus a hostile. Don't know what you're from. What are you, Sentinel? Oscillating poles. Neat. Every six and a half bumps, the poles, the magnetic poles change. And we do a magnetic pole change. Pretty sure. Oh, hello. Another super base. Well, we know we can take you on. So I guess what? That's what we're going to do. Oh, hell. You seem to be a tougher base. Come on. Okay. Drones, go, go, go. All the drones, please. Go, go. Ah, missiles. Uh, where's the laser gone? It's on the other side. Cool. Any missiles going to hit? We got one hit. Alright, well that's something. Oh, we're taking some hits. Okay, as long as we can keep a... Uh... Come on, damn it, none of the missiles... Yes, one missile made it through, but that's about it. Okay. Oops, don't keep on drones. Can we deploy another one? Oh, yes. There we go, we're getting some hits now, we're getting some hits. Losing a lot of energy, though. Mainly because of... Uh... Yikes, it's no surprise. Tell you what, none of the missiles, missiles barely make it through, you know. Ooh, right in the missile, right in the uh, super weapon, should I say. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, we've got enough shield. Alright, good, good. Hits, hits, hits. I'm going to take out another one of these damn bases. Switch over to drones. Keep the drones going. Four. Alright, once we can get some hits with the missiles. Yes, yes. Okay, progress. We are out. We are just out of. Uh... Okay, good. Come on, right in the center. Boom, that was nice. That was very nice. Yes, this is great. This is great. This is great. Bring out another drone if we can. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. Yes! We got it. We got it. And about repair swarm axial capacitor, we found a part of uh, of that super weapon, basically. Nice. All right, yeah, you come back here. You come back here. You don't get to survive this. You don't get to survive. Nice. Thank you very much. All right. We now know we can. Uh, still enough for us to start research. Okay, so there's at least one more station out there. But we know we can take out those stations. All right, class G4. The rocky terrain makes approach to the anomaly location trim uh, tricky. <gasps> Sorry, I feel like I need to hiccup. The team lands some distance away and approaches on foot. A, fre a freighter is concealed among the rocks, the engine still running. A figure in vaguely crustacean-shaped environment environment suit signals to the team when they approach it addresses them through a handheld translator. Got shipment top blue for moustache 20 adamantine. You buying or not? Zor agent, good pancakes if not. Zor? Hang on. Have the team buy whatever he's selling. Uh, let's just do it. Well, it's a maglev pallet with a large metal crate to the port of the freighter. It scurries back inside. Okay. What was that all about? <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, was that our was that our thing? What on earth did we just take? Did we just get there? Hmm. Sector of Latani. Alright, I don't know. Maybe that was it. Maybe that was the thing that was stolen. I don't know. We'll probably have to go back to the base and have it looked at. Okay. Well, that concludes this. Uh, I guess this uh, this gate, this nexus gate. We've got two more to explore. So next time. Probably going to be uh, heading off to one of these, so we'll head back to uh, this station and go from there, I guess. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.